All right, Python on hardware. Blinka, blinka, blinka. I made you out of Python. <laughs> blinka, blinka, blinka. I like to eval your REPL. That is, uh, that's pretty good. I don't you know. Thought of that, you thought of that on the Look, online. I'm going to stick to the engineering, okay? So, uh, big news, the Open Hardware Summit 2020 badge is CircuitPython powered. That's big news. <sighs> just just drop the biggest news first, why don't you? The end. Good no night. build up? Thanks, everybody. Okay, fine. Um, so, here's some um, renderings. renderings before it got sent out. So, you can see Bluetooth, BNO055 sensor, yeah, I'll go back to APDS that. sensor, four buttons, yeah. environmental sensing. Yeah. This is jam-packed. Look, it's got a, um, a quick connector even. Yay! Yeah. And so what I think is cool... What's cool? ...is it's the number 100 circuit Python board. Which it's, we did not plan. It actually just happened that way. It's the so 214th good. open source hardware certification grantee. That's a good number, too. Yeah. It has uh, DigiKey as a sponsor, SparkFun and Oshpark are working on it, making it. And I think best of all is we were able to make something together as a community like Circuit Python. And I saw the uh, project log and there was a bunch of different choices that uh, the team who's working on this could make. And they evaluated all the things. No one picks things all the time because they, they like us. I assume they like us, but maybe let's assume they don't. Doesn't matter because you could get you get so much with Circuit Python. I think you get, yeah, you, it's like it was cho it was chosen because it was the best possible thing. It wasn't because like Adafruit asked for it. It wasn't no, because no. we had anything to do with it. We didn't have to do this. Fine. On our on our list, CircuitPython.org/downloads. Yeah, there are more non-Adafruit boards than Adafruit boards. It's true. There's 59. I will plus. say I think you know Drew has done a bunch of badges before. I think he's project managing or kind of like he's working on this project, and I think his last project he used. The ESP32, which is a great chip. I love the ESP32, but because it doesn't have native USB, it can be challenging to get files on and off of it. And I think, you know, he was trying to have people change their photo and text on the badge. And I think, like, they had to come back to the desk to do it or use, like, a special tool. And that's why I think he liked the idea of CircuitPython, where anybody, once they had this watch slash badge, you could quickly modify it, hack it, adapt it. And I think... That's the goal of CircuitPython. People are like, what's, what's CircuitPython about? It's about ease of use. In five minutes, you can get something done. You, don't, you, you have the ease of use of Python and um, beginner friendliness of CircuitPython, which also means experts find it easier to use as well. If you like rapid prototyping, if you like having great documentation, you like having lots of code, you want to just get this to is it? for you. But I like that if, if you're doing a badge for the open hardware event, you kind of have to pick the most open stuff. You kind of have to hit, hit, pick the things that people will be able to do the most with. And we didn't know about this. We didn't know anything about it other than it's like, hey, we're doing this now. So I thought that was cool. And it's, it's you know, one of, my, one of my favorite quotes is, be so good, they can't ignore you. And I think that if you do a good job with firmware and code and lots of things, people will just use it because they're like, well, like, this is just the best thing. And like, this is, I, that's how I feel about uh, Feather and Stemma and CircuitPython and lots of other things in the electronic community. But this this is neat, and uh, I can't wait to get mine. We will. All right, next up. Uh, Keith Packard is doing a very cool cr crowd supply. I was about to say crowdfunding uh, and like Kickstarter and all that, but it's on crowd supply. Well, there's a cool rendering. Meet the snack board. So the snack board is a CircuitPython compatible board. It runs snack. It is Python on a very... Uh, you know, small microcontroller. And it's a great tool for teaching hands-on robotics and programming for young and old. Here's all the stuff you can do. Build a snack board out of Lego parts. And if you're interested in this, you can use CircuitPython or the snack language. And it's available on CrowdSupply. So we're a backer already. Snack board. I think this is interesting because, you know, yes, of course, snack, this is a really cool, low-cost way to use SNCC or Python hardware, but um, the EV3 module from Lego, like their official programmable brick, is also now MicroPython compatible. That's new, like a couple weeks ago we announced that. So I think it's interesting to see how kind of everyone is sort of meandering, but eventually getting to the point of like, you know what, Python is a really good way to get people programming robotics and electronics. And you said before that robotics, you know, if you have to, um, Calibrate sensors and and test motors. Doing it in rapid iteration with CircuitPython is really great. Yeah, 
if you have to change one little value to make the servo do one more angle and hit compile and save it and this all these things come up and then it transfers down and then it has to boot up per iteration yeah. you're looking at days and weeks just to do the same thing you can do live with a REPL. So I think wherever this electronic world ends up, I think live coding and REPL and a scripting language, Python-like or Python, is going to be where it's at. And because that's where it's going, too. It's not like, it's not we're making this up. We're actually just reporting on what's happening. Yeah. You know, it just hasn't been distributed yet, as I think Bill Gibson would say. Okay, so that's going on. All right, next up. So we have some massive updates on circuitpython.org. Yeah, we've skinned up. It's cool. Blinka so, has shed her skin and grown a new one. Yeah. So the things that are in there, um, there's a homepage with, that has descriptive text on why CircuitPython is easy to use, all the folks we thank and all the links to the different efforts that are out there. Um, special thanks to Damien George from MicroPython. That's where we got our start with uh, CircuitPython. Downloads features over 100 boards and now has a counter of how many boards that are supported. Same for Blinka. There's a board counter and there's over 35. Libraries, the CircuitPython library bundle, contains all the current libraries available for CircuitPython, over 200. Handy links for how to contribute, the latest news, and I put in an RSS feed. Thank you, Justin. You've always wanted an RSS feed. Everybody should have an RSS feed. You love them. Um, links to awesome-circuitpython as a resource, the newsletter with all the past issues we've ever sent out, help link, Discord server, and how to get started. Go check it out. New boards. Circuit Python snakes its way to the Seeduino. How do you think? The shell. The shell. Yeah. Okay. It's a minimal low cost board. Uses Atmel, SAMD21. Guess what? You run Circuit Python. Some on. What if you want to do some uh, space stuff? So uh, Max and Zach are doing an event. It's the Robot Exploration Lab and Kubos and Loft Orbital. They're the host. And if you want to learn all about PyCube, the Circuit Python powered satellite board, and why they chose CircuitPython, check it out. There's some slides and more um, that you'll be able to see on the tweets, um, but I posted up the Eventbrite link and resources and more. This is kind of cool. Um, there's a LoRa watch coming soon, open source LoRa communicator, and uh, out of the box, out of the gate, guess what? They're saying you could be doing something really important. They're saying CircuitPython's going to run on it. So they have posted up some renderings. I thought that was cool. That was nice. And... Uh, Here's uh, the 3D one that spins around. I think it's around. like, yeah, it's, it's very similar to the, the watch right. yeah. that, uh, we, so yeah, this for is watches so cool. is great. We didn't get around to doing a watch yet. No problem, someone else's. So that's cool. Nice work. Also, uh, here's a cool video that was posted up. It's all about the Adafruit Itsy Bitsy NRF 52840, and watch the whole thing later. Um, but this is a nice community-made video that shows all the cool features and all the things it can do. Smaller than a 9 volt. There's some really neat games. Um, we've had the Pi badges and Pi Gamer out for a while, and students are making pretty cool games. This is Joe in the Jungle uh, and S uh, Snack Kebabs Bongo Bonanza. It's a Circuit Python game, old school video game uh, for the Pi badge, and uh, it's made with the Psycho Circuit Python and Stage Library to create a Guitar Hero like game. This is uh, the Egg Collector. Okay, I need so, eggs. Yeah. So you go and go get the uh, egg. You know, guess what you're gonna do? Oh, collect eggs. Don't get the bomb. Don't get the bomb. Uh oh, yeah. tough. How are you gonna get both eggs? Right. Okay, it's tough. So the other thing that we've been trying to do, and again, it's like I think I said this on the show and tell when people talk about stuff that are using it, they they usually come up with better words than the people who are making it. So this is neat. You know, I always have to remember like what are, what do people say about Circuit Python and Python on hardware? And uh, John on Twitter was just talking about this. Um, and someone was like, oh, what's the CircuitPython thing? And they said, it's super nice to be able to reuse the same libraries on the microcontroller as on the server and desktop. And that's what we did with CircuitPython and with Blinka. So that's nice. Here's the CircuitPython project. This is the NeoPixel strip matrix. It's animation with NeoSprite, bitmap driven animations. Uh, we link to the, in the forums and GitHub and YouTube. And you can see how this is made and it uses CircuitPython. Up next, this is a 240 by 240 mini Pi TFT as a Pi hole with a BME 280 on a STEMI QT with CircuitPython. This is cool because it's exactly what it's meant for. It's like you can, yeah. it's an ad blocker, but also connect up a sensor to the plug and then run our example code and, and you can immediately get sensor data. Yeah. Tom created a CircuitPython library for the FFT code based on the Supercon audio badge project. Um, using the Adafruit guides made it super easy. You can check out the code, and uh, this is a little bit of a snippet. 
from what it can do. Next up, lots of neat combinations. This is uh, Evan's project. It's a Sphero RVR and CircuitPython working together. The Metro M4 over there. Yeah. Arturo of NXP chip fame, and Feather NXP fame, uh, had a neat thing. It took five minutes to add support for a new display. CircuitPython, that's how easy it is. Yeah. Five minutes, there you go, bang. Bang, REPL. Like this? Like that? There, there you go. go. <laughs> You're repling. Um, this is from Deshipu, one of the most talented uh, console makers for CircuitPython. This is a case mod that someone in the community did. Um, it's really neat. The maker movement now just makes Baby Yodas. It's 100% Baby Yodas. And so um, this is a 3D printer, uh, 3D printing project. And uh, this was from Micro Center, and they used a circuit playground to animate it. So, or Baby Yoda. It's kind of cool. This is a LED little back, little black dress with a sound reactive uh, mode and other patterns by Geek Mom Projects. It was made with a circuit playground blue fruit. Here is a first rev of a Bluetooth LED air quality monitor using our stuff. Ate a box right at Christmas. And here's another quote. Crazy how much you can get built these days just using Python. That's right. You can build it with just Python. Other stuff going on in hardware that we thought was neat. Uh, there is a lot of really cool companion bots. This is from Angela. And you can see this really cute bot. This is uh, a bunch of feather stuff. The tail has a power cord in it. Super cool. Over on the Microbit world, micromag.cc, they are now open for more contributions. So if you like yourself some Microbit and some MicroPython on that, you can write an article. Couple neat projects. There's some LEDs, NeoPixels, and resin. Good for a project like Valentine's Day related soon. Um, this is kind of neat. This is some 3D printing in NeoPixels. Yeah, I like these fans. Yeah, it's a cool. It's like a different shape and style. I've not seen this kind of thing. Yeah. And you know, we had a recap of a lot of the guides. This is Circuit Python powered cube, and that is the Python on hardware news this week. Oh. Thank you, Adabot Minerva. <laughs>